Hello and welcome to my first viewer request video. In this video, we're going to cover how to mount an SMB volume. The same principles apply for an AFP volume, but I'm not going to cover that as Apple is deprecating the technology. Let's get started. So as always, we'll start with a brand new script and we'll add our on run handler and then get into the actual code. So I'll first start with a command called mount volume that's included with the system events. And after the mount volume command, I have to then add the server address. So I'm going to do smb colon forward slash forward slash home assistant and then slash the volume name. In this case, it's backup. Then we add two arguments, the username, in this case, click, and the password for that user, which is the pass with the dollar signs. So now that the script has compiled successfully, let's go ahead and hit play and run the script and watch it mount the backup volume from the home assistant server. And there you have it. So now I thought it would be important to not only show you how to mount the volume, but also the related unmount or eject of the volume. To do this, we're going to have to call the finder. Um, the eject command is actually part of the finder, not part of the system events. So we'll need to do a tell application finder and then the command to eject and then the volume name backup. So now we can see this has compiled successfully, which means I haven't made any mistakes. If we hit the play button, then we see the server unmount, just as we would have expected. Now that we've created a successful mount and eject statement, let's turn those statements into handlers that could be repurposed for multiple servers and or volumes in the future. So I'll start by just creating a basic mount volume handler and a basic eject volume handler. Now that we've got the basic handlers in place, let's start deconstructing our code and creating arguments that we can pass in to the handler to make it dynamic to be used for multiple volumes. So I'll add a server name, a volume name, a username, and a password variable. And then we'll take those same variables and put them into our statement and replace the hard-coded values with our variable values. This will allow us to call this handler with multiple different servers and volume names and mount them as appropriate so we can reuse this code again and again for multiple servers and shares. Now that we've got our arguments in place, I'm going to add just a little bit of error handling to make this a more full featured handler. Uh, I'll get into error handling in a future video, but for now you can just see that I'm, I'm returning a value of true if the, everything works out okay. I'll log any errors if there's a problem, and then I'll return a value of false if there was a problem. And I'll do the same thing in the eject volume handler as well. Okay, so we've got our handler successfully created. Now let's give them one last try. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this handler and put it back into the on run and then fill in all of the arguments uh, as we had them before. So we'll put in home assistant for the server. We'll put in the volume name of backup. Then I'll add the username and password and we'll go ahead and run this. And just like before, we get a successful server mount. And so now let's double check the eject volume handler. So I'll go ahead and put the argument in there, of backup, and we'll run this one. And sure enough, the volume unmounts. Thanks so much for watching. Please consider clicking the like button and subscribing to my channel. If you have a question or comment, please feel free to leave a message in the comment section. And who knows, maybe your question will become my next video.